Let's talk about texture. How can we make different textures to our object? In this tutorial we will see stroke menu with clay tool. As I explained in tutorial 6, let's subdivide for a smooth object. Select clay and clay settings. With this setting, you give the flat value to clay tool. Let's look. Decrease the value to 0.01. Increase the value to 0.3. As you can see, it is not flat like the previous one. Let's try it in other ways. Open, Stroke menu. Select World Space Radius and change the radius from here. If you select Share Radius, all tools dryuses are same. Alpha is a texture that creates different brush behavior according to the settings of each brush. In my short tutorial you can learn how to create your own textures. You can create and import from your device. All of your alphas are in the Nomad file. If you want, you can delete unwanted alphas from here. First choose this alpha. Let's look at all the features step by step. Whatever is in the red round, that pattern is applied to your object. Scaling allows you to adjust this. Let's experiment in a few ways. Decrease scaling and radius. In this way, you can draw thin strips. This time, increase scaling, strip is not flattened as before. Select scaling Y. This time, let's choose another alpha so that you can understand Z and Y scaling. Let's scale the shape in the red circle on the X radial. Give high value, make three strips inside red circle. Increase scaling Y. After scaling and rotating, different textures can occur. Rotate the alpha. That's how scaling is. Whatever is in the red circle is considered texture. Select, invert pixels and screen project. Make med value 0, it means black no, white, positive displacement. Make 0 0.5, means black negative, white positive displacement. Make 1, means black negative, white no displacement. Select, Tilling X none and tilling Y repeat and med value 0. You can view the texture by moving tilling. This will be the texture. Now make tilling X repeat, tilling Y none. You can play with all the settings and make different textures. Make two of them mirror and mid value 1. This time the view in red circle, mirrored. Last time with tilling, make them none and mid value 0. It was like a stamp. Let's take a quick look at other alphas. Everything you can do can reach magnificent dimensions with your imagination and experimentation. Fall off is similar to alpha. You can create intensity with a single curve. Select, grab with dynamic radius. Choose the second curve. You can view the style from here. Select another alpha and see the result. To style stamps, adjust the radius by dragging your finger. Let we select, grab dynamic intensity. You can change radius but you can define the intensity by dragging your finger, without lifting it. Select sub. This time textures are formed downwards. It's that simple to create different textures with a few different versions. As you can see, we have created many different textures with the changes you will make in the stroke menu. Now, let's make some kinds of chains. Make scaling 2. Tilling 1. 
Choose this fall off and make stroke spacing 100%. Stroke type is dot and make stroke smoothing. With stroke spacing, you can create a spacing between each stroke based on the radius of the tool. Create a fall off with moving curves. You can adjust stroke spacing according to the fall off you choose or create. This amber color icon shows that all of those falloffs are symmetrical curves. Now unselect symmetric curves. If you want, you can change them to unsymmetric. Let me try some with unsymmetric curves. In this video, we touched on some options in the stroke menu with the clay tool. I hope it was useful content for you. See you in the next video.